Hey, what's going on, my friends? It's your man, Adam Ace Spencer. Today, I want to ask you guys the simple question. Should I buy a cargo van? Yeah, I'm dead straight asking you guys watching this video. Should I buy a cargo van? Comment down below. Let me know what you think. Right now, yeah. Did you not, if you didn't comment yet, just say yes or no. This is that simple. And while you're down there, definitely like this video. Um, we uh, uh, are going to just kind of dive into this a little bit more as I continue to kind of rant. Um, I'm in a position now where I have a 2004 um, Ecoline E250 Ford um, cargo van. It's one of the lower vans. So, you know, the, think about the, as people, some people, some women like to give me our time in the past. Say, oh, you got this sketchy, sketchy van and pull up to the kids and stuff. And you know, I got candy. Yeah. One of those sketchy white vans. Um, Ecoline, but though, it, hey, I love it. It's made me a lot of money and has been huge for me over the past few years. However, at this point in time, with the way, you know, uh, the car industry is and, you know, this chip shortage, I did recently read something about cargo van prices actually coming down a little, a tad bit. Um, but the question is, are they going to come down more throughout this year? And more particularly, more specifically, are they going to, is it going to happen soon before like moving season really picks up for me in like the summer? Um, because I will need a vehicle at that point in time. I, I, I can rely on renting and borrowing, uh, you know, renting from zip van or renting a cargo van from U-Haul, things like that. Um, but it's just such, it takes so much more time and such a hassle. And it's just so nice to be able to just drive to a job, do the job and come back home. Right. You know, you have your trade-offs, but again, prices of cargo vans have gone up quite a bit because of this whole chip shortage and dominoes effect basically so it's it's a little tricky right it's a little tricky there ultimately again if you can make more money than what it is that you know in my particular case like I, i'll be taken out a loan this would be my first um real big loan like this so it's kind of exciting for me too you guys might know i do have another channel <laughs> grants loans and credit on that channel you know it talks about grants loans and credit and uh, that would be something that would help me mix up my 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 kind of credit history a little bit more, which they like. They want to see diversified kind of credit lines. And uh, it's something that is uh, beneficial towards like my business. It's not my own personal luxury. I'm not big on I'm going to take out a fifty thousand dollar loan auto loan for uh, M class or some some just car. I just want for the heck of it. Nah, that's not me. Other channels may be cool. Go do your thing, flaunt yourself, look the, look the part. But if you got to take out a loan for a personal car like that, to me, you're not actually in that role. You're just looking the part and whatnot. A little different when it's for a business expense, such as me getting a cargo van. So, and maybe that plays a, a an influence in your thought as if I should get a cargo van or not. Maybe you're like, don't do it if you're not going to buy it outright. My, my current cargo van, I bought it outright. It was used. But even if I tried to get that same cargo van today, it probably would be much, much more because of that chip shortage. So, you know, now I, now the thought is, OK, well, let's not go the used route and let's go the new route. And then the question would be, which kind of cargo van do I go with? I primarily, like I said, I have used Ford. My baby Bessie, she's been I had her for a few years. She treated me well. Um, but like I bought a used, I bought a needing work and I did spend a little money, too. But I definitely made more money as a result of owning, like getting it, owning it and having it in the first place. So it was a good investment. But now, like I said, do I want to spend forty five thousand dollars on a new cargo van, fifty thousand dollars, forty thousand dollars on a new cargo van? Um, and maybe I don't go brand new. Maybe we get new, but, you know, something that has 10 or 20,000 miles on it. Um, what do you guys think? Do we go the Ford um, transit route. Um, my actual thought, to be honest with you guys, is I'm looking at or considering Ford Transit medium roof. I know some are like, oh, you got to get the long version and then get or get the high roof only. Um, for me, you also got to be mindful. Like, I don't do any expedited delivery stuff like that right now. Maybe those are things I got to consider getting into. But right now, I primarily do like small moving jobs, apartments, you know, maybe a condo. Um, occasionally like a small house, but really it's like apartment moving jobs, one bedroom, two bedroom. And um, most of the time, I mean, I've gotten m m many of my jobs have been completed within, you know, my Ford Eco line, you know, and I do, I got to get a little creative. So I'll strap things on my roof at times, things like that. I have multiple straps. And so, you know, not to say it was perfect size. It could have been a little bit bigger, which is why I think the medium roof might be fine. And I'll still have access to park under some garages. I'll still be able to go through some drive-throughs. Um, whereas the high roof, 
will prevent me on, I think even going on, I don't know if I can even drive on sterile drive with a high roof um, cargo van, which is huge. Not being able to drive the full strip of uh, sterile drive to help with cutting down time and whatnot. Um, of course, some people are like, well, then, you know, less time if you get paid by the hour, then you make less money. And that's not, you know, for me, I want to help my customers. The more you help your customers, the more they appreciate it, the more they're going to refer you and book you again. So let's be mindful of things like that. Um, so I don't know. It's tricky, right? There are different things to think about when it comes to what kind of cargo van you should get and if you should even get a new one and if you should even get one. Because like I said, technically, I can just continue to go the zip zip van route or go the U-Haul route, um, both of which have worked and are effective with allowing me to continue to do jobs for customers, whether it's here on TaskRabbit or, you know, off off TaskRabbit, Google, they book me on um, through Facebook, whatever. Um, you know, the goal is just to help get the job done. But do you want to spend all this time running around, picking up, dropping off? Um, or you, you make the sacrifice now, spend the big bucks now, but you own it outright. It's yours and you do with it as you please. Along with Ford Transit, of course, we do have um, Dodge has their cargo van as well as uh, um, uh, the Mercedes Sprinter. Um, there might be other options. I don't think so. I think those are the main three that would be considered. And, um, you know, like I said, I'm leaning towards Ford just because I previously had Ford. Every, you know, you can take your Ford vehicle pretty much to any shops. They'll be able to fix it. So if you are on the road, whatever, if you have a few shops in your area, again, you're going to have more options, I feel. So let me know what you guys think. Not really doing, like I said, big expedited deliveries, things like that. I'm doing primarily small jobs. Maybe at most I've traveled from, from you know, Boston down to uh, like Washington. I think, uh, where did I go? Virginia. Um, jobs to New York. I do jobs up to Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine. Um, so New England for the most part. Um, so I want something comfortable, something that I can be in that's that's comfortable. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Do I want to buy a new cargo van specifically if I'm going to be taking out an auto loan? And furthermore, what van do I want to go with? I'm open to hearing your thoughts. I believe this is going to be a good investment for my business. But, you know, it's something I've been kicking the can down the road on just because I'm like, eh, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know, like my consulting business continues to pick up and maybe we shift more of my attention towards that business over the next few years. But that might still not be something that takes kind of over my attention compared to my Adam Helper services for another three, four, five years, potentially, um, which that time span, it's like, oh, I can get a cargo van, have it in paid in full, you know, five years, let's say. And um, then at some point, the other beauty of it is being able to convert it to where I can then travel around the country and I'd own it outright by then. So that is one of the biggest reasons and things I wanted to throw in the mix. I should have said that early on because that might influence your thoughts about which cargo van makes the most sense. So let me hear what you guys think. Comment down below with your thoughts while you're down there. If you haven't already, smash that like button. And of course, subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date on all of our latest and upcoming video content. But all right, my friends, enough for me. You already know I got to keep it moving. But I'll see you in the next video. Peace.